Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of Food and a Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now on this episode of Food and a Single Guy, I am going to show you how to make traditional sambal ketchup from my country. It is a Japanese dipping sauce, if you will. It is a spicy, peppery, fiery soy sauce that the Japanese people in my country drizzle over their chicken satay or they add some to their sauto. And I have a recipe for sauto right here on my channel. Go check it out. They also marinate their chicken with it or other types of meat. So on this episode, I'm gonna show you how they make it in my country. And as you may well know, the Japanese people in my country are descendants from the migrant workers from the island of Java that were transported from Java to my country to work on the plantations after the abolition of slavery. So the Japanese people are our people and I have Japanese family members and we love each other, all right? So as I said earlier, I'm gonna show you how the Japanese make uh, sambal ketchup in my country because in various parts in Indonesia, people use different ingredients to make their sambal ketchup. So this is not Indonesian sambal ketchup, this is sambal ketchup from my country, all right? Now let's get on with it. Okay, you guys, and now for the ingredients for sambal ketchup, the way they make it in my country. First of all, you will need some sweet soy sauce or ketchup manis, a small onion. I'm using an entire bulb of Chinese garlic. If you're using regular garlic, you may wanna use four to five cloves because you want the sauce to have enough garlic. I have here two very hot scotch bonnet peppers and I'm not gonna use both of them. I'm gonna start with one and then I'm gonna taste it to see if it's hot enough for me. What I have here is the aromatic ginger, also known as conchur. Now let me give you a visual. See, this is what it looks like. It is related to the ginger family, you guys, and it has a completely different smell and taste. It's very powerful stuff. It will overpower your dish if you're using too much of it. And for today's recipe, for this sambal ketchup, I am gonna use the conchur powder. This is what it looks like and a little bit goes a long way you guys the powder is so much more stronger than the root so keep that in mind if you if you can find this in your neck of the woods and you want to use it keep that in mind a little bit goes a long way all right now let's continue okay you guys you've seen me use this baby before i don't think i have to explain to you what this is so what i'm going to do next i am going to grind my pepper my onions and my garlic in my mortar and I'm gonna do that off camera because it takes a while and I don't wanna bore you with that. When I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, all right, let me bore you just a little bit then. And I ended up using half of the onion, you guys, as you can see. So let me get a little spoon. Looking good, looking good. Now let me taste it. Ooh, honey. Mm. I am on fire. Baby, when I tell you this is hot. But that's just the way we like it, honey. Okay, you guys, and now for the fun part. What I have here is a rectangular bowl. I'm gonna mix the sauce in this bowl, and the reason I'm using a rectangular bowl is because I'm gonna need the corners of this bowl to guide me as I'm pouring my sauce into my jar when it's all finished. I have a whisk. I have 300 mils of the sweet soy sauce. I have my conchur powder, which I have transferred into my little jar and I have the onion, garlic, and pepper mixture right here. So, let us continue. You pour the sauce into the bowl. Next, what I'm gonna add is the garlic and the pepper and the onion mix, just like this. I'm gonna give it a little stir. And the sweet soy sauce, you guys, unlike the salted soy sauce, is very thick. All right, I'm not gonna use the whisk after all. I'm just gonna stir with my spoon. Now let me give you a visual, you guys. This is what it looks like. As you can see, nice and thick. What I'm gonna add next is some of the conchur powder. And keep in mind, you guys, a little bit goes a long way. See? We're gonna start with just a little bit and then you want to mix that well and then you taste it to see how it tastes 
It smells so delicious. Now let me taste this. It could use a little more of this powder. A little bit, you guys. Okay, you guys, what we're also going to add is a pinch of salt. Just a little bit. See? Give it a nice stir. I think I want a little bit more salt. Just a little bit. Like so. And what I also want is a little bit more of the contour powder. And give that a stir. All right, now let's subject this to another taste test because it looks about done to me. It smells good. But you want to taste the salt somewhere in the back of your throat. And you want to taste the heat of the pepper somewhere in the back of your throat. That is when you know it is perfect. So let's see if I, um, if I did well enough for my own standards. Oh, let's, let's, let's dig in. Hmm. Yes, it's good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I need a little bit more salt. Just a little bit. Just like so. And a little bit more of the contour powder. Just like that. And then we're gonna give this a stir. Okay guys, so sometimes when I'm lazy to make this myself, I go to the tropical store and I get a jar of the sambal ketchup ready made. So I'm using the same jar to pour in my own homemade sambal ketchup. And as you can see, you can see all the ingredients just going in, baby. All right, I'm trying not to make a mess here. There we go. Now you're not going to consume this today. You're going to set this to one side and let it rest for at least two to three days before consuming it. All right? Now let me close up my jar just like so. And then we're going to put this in the fridge and allow it to rest for at least two days like I just said. Okay guys, before I give you the surfing suggestion, I want you to take a look at this because this is what it looks like after a day or two. And as you can see, all the ingredients have risen to the top and this is what you want. Now you're going to stir it and make sure that all the ingredients get reacquainted with that soy sauce. Just like so. So now what we're going to do, we are going to drizzle some of this delicious sambal ketchup on top of our delicious chicken skewers just like so maybe just a little bit more there we go and because everybody likes a pretty picture we're gonna sprinkle some parsley on top just like so doesn't that look gorgeous I think it does and I don't mean to toot my own horn but I think that was a pretty darn good looking surfing suggestion I am ready to eat again and did you peep my beautiful limestone surfing platters honey let me tell you I love them anyways you guys if you decide to try my sambal ketchup let me know how it turned out because you know I'm always interested in hearing from you in the meantime do be well take care Happy cooking, happy eating, don't add crazy to the craziness, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.